Today marks one month since I've had the honour and the privilege of becoming your SNP leader. I'm absolutely determined to deliver for you and all of the people of Scotland. My immediate priority is to protect every single Scot from the harm inflicted by the Tory cost of living crisis, to invest in the recovery of our NHS and other vital public services, to grow our well-being economy and to advance the cause of Scottish independence. And while we are doing all we can to build a fairer Scotland, only last week, a senior Tory said the quiet bit out loud. They admitted they want to put devolution in reverse. We will resist the Tory power grab every single step of the way. Of course, as a party, we are going through a challenging period. That is why the governance and transparency review that I instructed is already progressing. Our opponents think we're down and out. They couldn't be more wrong. As a party, recent weeks have seen an uptick in new members, taking the overall number to more than 74,800. And even now, the Scottish Tories and their Scottish Labour pals, they're refusing to share their membership numbers. There's a word for those who don't practice what they preach, hypocrites. Our membership means we continue to be Scotland's largest political party by quite some distance. With positive momentum, we can take our message to communities right across the country. This Saturday, the 29th of April, I would like to invite members from every constituency across Scotland to join me on the doorsteps. So whether you're in Rutherglen and Hamilton West constituency or any other constituency across the country, let's get out there, let's chap the doors, let's make the case for a fairer, greener, wealthier, and of course, independent nation. I give a promise to you that I would lead our campaigning from the front as your first activist. It's time for us all to join together in a national campaign day. Let's get geared up for a Westminster election where we have the opportunity to demonstrate that support for the SNP and independence remains strong. The power to build a better Scotland is in all of our hands. Let's get out there. Let's make our voices heard loud and clear. Thank you.